First up, Ryzen 3. This is AMD's entry-level hero. It usually comes with four cores and eight threads, which is technical shorthand for it runs Google Chrome and Microsoft Word at the same time without the blue screen of death appearing. It's the perfect choice for students, office workers, or anyone whose primary goal is to finish a thesis or watch cat videos in 4K. If you try to run a massive modern game on this, your laptop might start sounding like a jet engine taking off from your lap, but for a budget build, it's a solid start. When looking at the names, you'll often see a letter at the end. In laptops, the U suffix is the most common. This stands for ultra low power, but you can think of it as the battery lasts forever. It's designed for portability over raw speed. On the desktop side, keep an eye out for the G suffix. This means the chip has a decent graphics processor built right inside, so you don't actually have to sell a kidney to buy a separate graphics card just to get a picture on your screen. Next is Ryzen 5, the people's champion. This is the 6-core, 12-thread middle child that actually made something of itself. It is widely considered the sweet spot for most people, because it's powerful enough for serious gaming and photo editing, but it doesn't cost as much as a used car. If you're building a gaming PC today, this is likely where you'll start. For laptop users, you'll see the H suffix here. This is for high-performance gaming laptops that need more muscle. On desktops, the X suffix is popular. It basically means the chip comes with higher clock speeds right out of the box. Think of it like the turbo button from the 90s, but it's always on. Moving up the ladder, we hit Ryzen 7. This is the high-performance tier with 8 cores and 16 threads. If Ryzen 5 is for gaming, Ryzen 7 is for the person who wants to play that game while streaming it to an audience, keeping Discord open and having 50 Chrome tabs running in the background. It's built for creators who need that extra oomph for video rendering and heavy multitasking. You might also see the HS suffix in laptops, which offers high performance in thinner, lighter designs. But the real star here is the X3D variant on desktops. This uses AMD's 3D vCache technology, which is essentially a giant backpack of extra memory strapped to the chip. It makes Ryzen 7 the undisputed king of gaming frame rates, often beating chips that cost twice as much. Then there is Ryzen 9. With 12 to 16 cores, we have officially entered the overkill zone for most humans. This is designed for professionals and tech enthusiasts who do heavy lifting, like 8K video editing or complex scientific simulations. Most people who buy a Ryzen 9 only use about 5% of its power to browse Reddit. But hey, those benchmark numbers look great on a forum signature. It's AMD's flagship, competing directly with the most expensive chips Intel has to offer. Recently, AMD introduced a new naming scheme called Ryzen AI. These chips feature an NPU, or Neural Processing Unit. Think of this as a dedicated brain just for artificial intelligence tasks. Right now, that mostly means it makes your background blur look slightly more professional during video calls while you're secretly wearing pajama pants. It also helps with AI tools in Photoshop and Windows Copilot. By letting the NPU handle these tasks, your main CPU stays cool and your battery lasts much longer. For the business world, there is Ryzen Pro. These come in 3, 5, 7, and 9 variants, but they've basically gone to business school. They include features like Memory Guard, which encrypts your data. If a hacker tries to steal your files, all they get is a pile of digital gibberish. It also allows IT departments to manage thousands of computers remotely, so they don't have to walk to your desk every time you forget your password. If you're into handheld gaming, you've likely heard of the Ryzen Z1 and Z1 Extreme. These are specialized chips found in devices like the ROG Ally or the Lenovo Legion Go. They're essentially tiny gaming PCs that fit in your hands. They're highly optimized to give you a smooth gaming experience while trying desperately not to drain the battery in 45 minutes. Finally, we have the final boss. Ryzen Threadripper. This chip is physically the size of a small slice of toast and features anywhere from 24 to 96 cores. Using this for gaming is like using a SpaceX rocket to go to the grocery store across the street. It is meant for movie studios like Pixar or engineers building digital cities. It costs thousands of dollars. And if you have to ask the price, you definitely don't need it. So, there you have it. Ryzen 3 for the basics, Ryzen 5 for the gamers, Ryzen 7 and 9 for the pros, and Threadripper for people who own their own server farms. 
Choose wisely, or your computer might just downgrade itself to a calculator while you sleep.